What's up everybody? This is Easy Street Gaming. Bring you another Brutal Age video. Out of breath, I just walked like 50 feet. <laughs> I'm in the Chaos Swirl. For any of you out there in servers that do not have the Chaos Swirl, this is be your first look at it. This is a part of the game that we have been waiting for for a long, long time. It is a little swirly thing that's in the adventure. Um, what it is, is a completely separate stage. It is not, it, it doesn't bring you to, uh, it has the same names. Um, as you can see right here, I'm in Riverside 2. Um, so the same names as the, the, the normal adventure uh, stages, but completely different uh, way to play, outlook or whatever. You have certain accomplishments that you have to, that you have to try to achieve. Uh, in other words, um, they're going by pretty fast. Uh, what, I, what I'm doing here, I'm trying to remember. It, I've been so busy, and this is actually from like a week ago that I recorded this. I wanted to show everyone the differences in some of the different levels. They ask you to achieve different things. Um, one of them is you have to, they all pretty much say you have to defeat all four partners. Some of them are you have to defeat all four partners and still have at least 50% of your life left. Some of them you have to use one of each different color, one of each different attribute. Um, some of them are, you have to have uh, the th uh, third awakened troops or uh, partners. So there's a lot of uh, stipulations in order to, to pro progress and get the three stars. I know that a lot of people from th uh, server 323 got stuck on certain levels. It's really hard for them to get by it. I'm not exactly sure if they just can't beat it or they can't beat it under the stipulations that they have in place. Uh, I know that once you're getting up to these level, uh, you know, the maxed out level partners and the third awakened, and they want you to survive with taking 50% damage. You have to, it, those, that's got to be hard. I haven't got that far personally. I'm only in the second um, stage. So it starts off the first stage is the same. And then the second stage is you know the same names as regular adventure. So the first stage is plain. Just like, just like the first stage is in regular adventure. The second one is, I believe, I don't even remember what the first and second names are. <laughs> I suck. So anyway, show you a few replays from the Chaos Swirl, and then in order for me to beat the level that I'm on, I had to kind of make a few moves. So I want I recorded it too, and and you can see kind of um, what goes through my mind and, and how I get to where I have to get. These are the same decisions that you're going to have to make, and the same sacrifices you're going to have to make. I'm sure. Um, we're talking about bringing a hero to the third level of awakening and what you have to do to do that uh, some of these five stars you have to, you have to sacrifice a lot to get them to the third awakening I think it was uh, I had to give up six four stars and it just so happens that I was collecting four stars that I needed for the third awakening that so they're already paired off and maybe it was a hasty move on my part but uh, I needed it so I did it anyway <laughs> so in this match here I believe this match I had to have it says now there's a couple typos I'm gonna tell you right now there's a couple typos one of the typos it said that you needed to have at at, um, at least no more than three uh, third awakened partners so more than three has to be four but that was a typo it said it, it should have said at least three because people have been playing with just three third level awakened and that was they were able to get the th all three stars that way if you screw up and you don't bring in the right um, formation, you'll, you won't get the star for that. And you won't be able to progress past that board level. You'll be able to progress to the next uh, the next base, but it won't let you off of that, uh, that map. If that makes any sense. So just a quick background too. Um, for anyone that, that knows me in my personal life, you know that I have been investigating and signing up for what's called patreon so if you've ever bought packs in brutal age which we all do stop for a minute put five dollars aside each month i think that that would be a good commitment to make that's what i think i i have multiple five dollar commitments out there to youtubers that i really enjoy you can get exclusive access to easy street gaming you can hear some content never heard by another human being and there's a reason for it I've saved every screw up I've ever done and boy it's hard you can be easy's boss that means that we are going to ask for recommendations on where we should go with the channel what, 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 what videos we should make and we are asking for people that have joined patreon to help us 
maybe not make the videos, but just suggest content. So here I am. We'll get back to that a little later. Here I am. I'm going to try to get the Blue Nomad to the third level of Awakening, and it needs all of these partners in order to do it. I'm going to give up a bunch of them. This is the same kind of sacrifice you have to make. Uh, it takes two red archer girls, so two red sharpshooters. I think that's their name. But then it also takes six more four star partners that you cannot progress into five stars. So you have six more. And so I gave up the two reds and then six more and then a five star partner, which I just happened to get another green nomad, which was my second one. So I, I gave him up. And I still had some coins left, so what I'm trying to do now is I'm going to pick a couple more that I'm going to bring up to the second level of Awakening so I can kind of get them staged and ready for the third level of Awakening. I have some unusual partners I'm going to bring up to the third level of Awakening. Um, and, I, and speaking of that, I want to stand corrected on so many uh, mistakes made in the past. Anyone else that you know if there was a bunch of people doing brutal age YouTube, which there really isn't They would have probably made the same mistakes as I did early on You think you have a pretty good grasp of the characters and all the players and and, and, and you, you know what's going on But really I didn't have any clue what the third level of awakening meant and what it meant to all the partners I didn't know that they were all going to be valuable. I didn't know that Tree man is a perfect example red tree man in the pa in past videos I would say feed tree man to other partners Maybe bring him up to three star maybe bring him up to four star even but then feed him away Because he just doesn't have enough the, st the, the stats aren't high enough for him for him to compete into a five star uh, Arena little did I know that once he's six star third level aw awakening that he can do 200 plus thousand damage in one strike because I didn't have a good enough grasp of the game yet. I was out there giving recommendations. Oops <laughs> I I think it's brutal ages little practical joke on the players that all of their two stars can be really powerful if you build them just right uh, If 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 the partner doesn't have a third skill You can bet that his third skill will come during the third level of awakening and it will probably be pretty impressive because That's what they've done in all of them um, a good, another good example would be Green Scarecrow. Once uh, once the Green Scarecrow gets up to the third awakening, he gets the Reaper Cometh attack, and the Reaper Cometh is a, is a massive uh, attack entire party. Uh, so, and, and he was another partner that in past videos, I'm sure I suggested to feed him away, and because I knew so much, and also we might as well, since we're on the Scarecrow, um, now that we've I've had other looks at the Scarecrow past level 40 um, on some of these later stages in adventure I think it was level 44 where red scarecrow was almost impossible for me to get by because he had um, I believe he was attacking me with uh, Thor's uh, curse and he had the he had the little cloud over my head that was striking down at like 10 to 20 thousand damage per hit so a, a, a lot of powerful par partners out there that I really didn't have any idea would be this strong and so I'm gonna be a little more careful when I say uh, he's no good. Feed him away. <laughs> gonna have to be a little more careful with that. Uh, there was the Reaper Cometh attack right now, just there. I think it, it averages around 3,000 per strike, and there's three strikes in the attack. It uh, does a little better against blue partners, which is kind of handy because blue nomad's so strong. Um, a little popular blue nomad and, and uh, the blue black shaman. So having the green scarecrow is a pretty big asset against them. Now. We get to we get to fight against a lot of powerful partners in the chaos swirl. You, you see here, normally you won't be we won't be able to fight these partners unless we're fighting against another player. So there's a lot of good opportunity for us to um, get quality matches in against the computer, where normally we'd have to wait and do this in ranked matches. And you know, we if you let's say if you just come on for the first time during the day, you'll have 20. Um, you, you know you can go through and, and do 20 attacks So that's 20 chances instead of the three that you'll get during ranked matches when you come in fresh so uh, Gonna give you a couple of suggestions even though I just kind of warned everyone about my suggestions in the past <laughs> Here's a couple tips lead with speed and this is what I this is what I've been doing to get to where I am right now And anyone who knows me knows I'm not um, uh the most talented I just kind of pay attention and I try to give whatever uh, advice that I've been getting been getting from other people 
So leap of speed, the blue black shaman is a perfect leader. He has speed. Uh, also, the green god of earth also comes in with the, the the leader speed leader ability. Those would be two good heroes that you can come in with and lead with. They also do um, attack, attack party attacks. So if, uh, with the black shaman, a lot of people put uh, Saya on him so he can stun. So those are really good uh, to lead with. Also, you also want to have your attack group uh, with with KO power. The Green Scarecrow or the God of Earth, Red or Blue. Those are both. Those are some other good suggestions that you come in and build your team with. Uh, then you want to play it safe. So bring in your, your Green Catfish Fighter or the Red Drum Beater. They they both offer a shield up, so you can keep your squishier partners like the Scarecrow, who's kind of squishy, um, and you can keep it because his hit points going to be lower most likely because you're going to have his attack up there and he just doesn't have a lot of natural hit points. Um, you bring it bring in a shield like the uh, the the uh, stuttering I want to get through one video where I don't stutter <laughs> So yeah, you bring in your shield bring in your healers Also bring uh, an, an alternative anchor and a per the, your perfect anchors are your red or, or, or blue nomad They're just really super powerful attack one person uh, also be mindful that they are going to throw the new partners at you too which that means you're going to have to deal with the blue bape and the blue ch uh, cha cha which um i believe in ranked matches last um last ranked matches we had two blue nomads blue bape blue cha cha i think number one through five was definitely all four that was their party uh same exact team over and over again i think they were in one through ten like nine times so if you're facing them in the chaos world be prepared you're going to have a tough match in front of you so great rewards if you haven't got there yet it's coming they're doing a test right now so hope you enjoyed the video I just decided at the end of this video while uh, our guest red the red uh, blonde and and berserker are talking I had a little guitar playing been playing for a little while nothing special hope you enjoyed the video leave comments till next time it's been easy take care everybody